Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We went to Ulta. I actually just got back from Ulta. We picked up some stuff. We're gonna try out a whole bunch of new makeup. We're also gonna be talking about the fact that I took out my hair extensions. The gag is the hair is gone, okay? We're gonna talk about it. So if you guys wanna hang out with me, just keep this watching. The CoverGirl Eye Enhancer Mascara. Ever since I saw Douse review this on TikTok, it looks so good on his lashes, but kind of everything looks really good on his lashes because he has super like long full. CoverGirl did send this over. I think the packaging is super cute. This is the black shade. This one right here is a berry brown. What does that mean? That's like burgundy. But the one that we're going to try out is just regular black. But the thing that I don't like about mascara is you have to wait for it to dry to literally do anything. I feel like even doing my concealer with wet mascara is just asking for something to go awry. Ooh, you guys also, I don't know if you can tell, but I have my hair slicked back today, finally, because I took my extensions out. Just being completely honest here, he said you don't need any lash curler with this, uh, but my lashes completely fell. Granted, I do have very straight lashes, so I personally was expecting that, but there actually are some formulas of mascaras that don't make my lashes fall, so I know it's possible, but this, girl, that did absolutely nothing. That was like less than nothing in the curl department. This is one coat of the mascara and I feel like it actually looks really nice for just one coat, but I'm gonna have to let it dry a little bit more. I'm gonna curl them and do a second coat because I wanted to show you guys what one coat of the mascara looks like with my eyelashes curled so much better with my eyelashes curled. I swear to you guys, they just go straight down. I have been wanting to get a lash perm, but I'm just a little nervous that it will burn my eyes because if you guys didn't know, I'm allergic to lash extensions. Um, so I figured just like any sort of fumes around my eyes is not a good idea. So we did go to Ulta today. We did go to Ulta literally right before this video, specifically for some lashes, but we got some other things that we're gonna try out today too. But I got the Kiss So Wispy Lashes. I actually already trimmed mine because you guys know that I like to do half lashes. Don't these look so pretty? I just feel like they were so thick at the ends right here. It looks like it's gonna give the most beautiful cat eye effect. There's one, two, three, four, five pairs in here. I wonder how much this was. I don't remember. Probably around like 15-ish. No, it's probably closer to 20. Let's be honest. I cut about this much. Can you guys see? I cut about this much off of the lash. So this is the longer end of the lash. I do like to keep the shorter. I like to use like the more tapered side for my half lashes. Didn't know. I'm still working on rebranding my lashes for my brand. I feel like part of being a smart businesswoman or just like owning your own lash brand in general it's always good to try out different brands of lashes know what you like and what you don't like i've been doing this forever wearing lashes okay so i already know what i like and i don't like i like more of an invisible band that's exactly what i'm going to give you guys because i feel like if you guys like to do half lashes as do i that's almost all i do i almost feel weird if i get a full lash on my eyes i've tried it because i'm like you know what maybe it's just in my head but I feel like something about a half lash just opens your eye up and makes it look so much more, I don't know how to describe, maybe like, it just looks so feminine to me. I do have hazel eyes and I feel like when I do a half lash, it makes my eyes look more green. Whereas if I do a full lash, I feel like it closes it off. And sometimes you can't even tell that I have color eye, colored eyes, which is actually crazy because back in the day, I used to want brown eyes so bad which is insane because i know there's so many people with brown eyes out here looking at me like Girl, what is wrong with you like, you know how everybody went through that phase in like middle school where they would wear colored contacts every day like there was people really out here wearing like purple contacts and i thought it was so cool i personally wanted brown contacts i'm like you know what i just feel like i don't know why i just felt like it would look so much better with my skin tone or girl i don't know but you know now we're here and i feel like i've grown into my eyes which is a weird thing to say I'm gonna stop talking because I actually don't know what I'm talking about. Isn't there like a body part that doesn't grow on your body? Is it your ears or something? Or it doesn't grow like as fast. I'm actually gonna leave them like this for now. And then as we do our base routine, we'll kind of add on top of it. But we're gonna do some spot concealing. This is the NYX Pro Fix Stick in the shade vanilla i haven't used this in a long time it's super creamy and it's definitely a little bit more full coverage the product that we're going to be using on our face today has doesn't have a ton of coverage so i want to make sure that i'm covering what i need to 
finally slick my hair back and I could slick my hair back because I took my extensions out. I decided that I wanted to take my extensions out and I kind of, I already knew that I wanted my extensions out for a while. I was just letting it sink in, sit in my head because a lot of times I can be impulsive. You guys, I can be very impulsive. And I was like, do I want to take these extensions out? Because they were very, very expensive. When I tell you that this trip, this last trip to the salon was expensive, it was ridiculous. If you guys are going red, just know at one point, more than likely, you're wanna, you, you'll want to go back to a natural color. And if the natural color isn't black, best you just know it's going to be expensive, okay? Color corrections, I feel like in my head when I went into the salon, color correction, I expected it to be more than it was. It wasn't in the four digits. Okay, I was expecting it to be way more expensive than it was. She did a great job because honestly, to this day, I cannot believe my hair is this color from red. Do you guys remember how red my hair was? Like it was insane that she got it to this color and it stayed like this. I thought like the toners were gonna wash out and the red and the pink were gonna come back. But no girl, it's perfect. I love it. I'll actually leave, I'll actually leave her link down below if you guys are red or if you guys just like are looking for somebody to do a color correction because she was bomb. Now, what was expensive was the extensions. When I tell you this last set of K-tips that I had in my hair was the most expensive. <laughs> it was so expensive, okay? It was over 1,500. Let's just be honest here, it was really expensive. I did get Bellamy hair. Bellamy is known for being on the higher end. The quality of the hair was insane. Like the hair that she put in my hair to the time that I took it out was exactly the same. Like it didn't lose density, didn't lose length. Well, how would it lose length unless I cut it? But you know what I mean? Like it stayed nice and strong and healthy. And the K-tips, I don't think I lost any K-tips besides the ones I took out myself because me being me. Really quick because we have something else to try. This is the Magic Filter Glow Booster from Essence. I'm assuming this is supposed to be along the lines of the Elf Halo Glow, Charlotte Tilbury, Emco Beauty that I love. The only thing is that this only has 0.47 fluid ounces and a regular foundation like base product typically will have one fluid ounce, but this is only $6. It was $5.99. It has a pump. It's from Essence. Let's try it out. I really want to see if it smells. I wish it wasn't in a pump. Ooh, it feels really thick. Oh, how thick this is. <gasps> Look how thick this is. No way. I actually did a whole award show with Essence, if you guys didn't know. It started over on TikTok and it started as kind of like a campaign between creators and then it turned into an actual award show. Like I went in and there was cameras and a whole production team and I actually read off a teleprompter. It was insane, insane. Speaking of, actually at that award show, there was actually stylists there that styled me. So I wasn't able, nobody was able to like pick their dress or anything that they were wearing, which I already felt uncomfortable about because I feel like all my life I've kind of struggled with body dysmorphia, always. I already wasn't in the best mindset with my body going into that. Another thing is they had makeup artists. Oh, and hair stylists. And I said, okay, I can only go so far. You guys can do my hair, but I'm doing my makeup. Like there's no way. So I did my own makeup, but the hairstylist there, they did my hair. They were so nice, bless them. But one of them made a comment and they said, oh, I'm surprised that you don't wear extensions. That was right in between me going on stage and reading off the teleprompter. By the way, for the first time in my life, I've never done something like that before. And when he said that, I felt like, oh my gosh, like is my hair thin? Is it short? Is it broken? Is it dead? Like, I just remember being like, why would he say that? Because now you just added another like, quote unquote, insecurity that I didn't think that I had. Not even a month later, I went to get my first set of K-tip extensions. Really think twice about what you say before you say to somebody, because you never know what they're thinking like inside their head and how it's going to affect them. Granted, we are just talking about hair. I feel like I'm making it so dramatic, but that is actually what led me to get my first round of K-tip extensions, which is funny. Also, let's talk about how this feels on the skin. It doesn't feel thick on the skin at all. Very sheer coverage. It's definitely what I was expecting from this sort of product. The e.l.f. Woe Glow and my Emco Beauty one that I love so much feels so much lighter than this. I also really like the fact that it's in a doe foot. Some people don't like that because they think it's unsanitary, but for me, I like it because I feel like it's easy to apply on the face. Can you guys see? I always talk about this, how my hand just stays like, I'll be blending out my foundation and my hand will just be here like doing weird things. And we're gonna go in with another like 
quarter of a pump for my forehead. So I had stumbled across a creator here on YouTube. I'm obsessed with her. When I find creators that I like, I will uh, like binge all their content. Her name's Kaylee Boyle. She's really into self-care, which I just love so much. I, something about self-care is so fun, especially when you glamorize it. I feel like she really romanticizes everything about the getting ready process, like hair, makeup, nails, skin, everything. And she makes me like excited to get up and do it. What she's really known for is her hair. Her hair is insane. And she had like the biggest glow up with her hair and she has transformed her hair. I've taken so many tips from her. And one night I decided, you know what? I wanna do that. I wanna do that. I've actually done this trans transformation once before. It was back in 2018. Let's try out this One Size Beauty Turn Up The Base Concealer. This is in the shade Light 1R. They sent this over to me, so if it doesn't match, this is gonna be too dark. I can see it oxidizing already, but we're just gonna go for it and lighten it up with something else. I've always been extremely experimental with my hair. Usually do my hair by myself, but there are the few times that I go to somebody else to do it. So this was back in 2018. My hair was completely bleach blonde. When I tell you guys I want nothing more than to be bleach blonde and tan, I was actually working at a tanning salon. I've touched on this before. It was kind of like a toxic environment just for my skin in general and i had had so much breakage all of my hair was just breaking off the ends and i'm not gonna lie i was not taking care of my hair like i feel like i wasn't knowledgeable on it like heat protectant nope i would put heat on my hair every day i wasn't worried about it i would go to bed with my hair wet i wouldn't sleep in protective styles okay i think this color is just a bit too dark i feel like you could see the yellowness under my eyes i kind of expected that but i was actually going to use this on my face i wasn't going to do it under my eyes i just forgot so Let's lighten it up with my favorite IRL concealer from Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade C1. I normally use C6. It's a lot darker, but this is the lightest one I believe they carry. And this is just going to add some brightness. Hair was breaking off and I knew that I need to do something about it. I tried to dye it back to my natural hair color, which is this like dirty blonde. And when I did that, I did not fill my hair because I, again, I didn't know at the time. And it turned green turn green so I said you know what we got to go to a professional we have to have somebody fix this because I don't I, I don't know where to go from here and I knew that my hair could not take any more damage I went to somebody and she took me back to my natural hair color and chopped all my hair off we're also going to use these new Too Faced melting bronzing and sculpting sticks that everybody was talking about oh I hate the smell and I'm such a smell person like I love a scent how many times have I said that? You guys know what I'm gonna say. I love a scent in a product because I feel like it just makes the experience more fun. That was way too much on my forehead. Way too much. These smell like Tootsie Rolls. Ooh, I hate the smell of Tootsie Rolls. I hate the taste of Tootsie Rolls. My brother loves them. Me, no. I went absolutely crazy with the hair care. I completely cut out heat. Now, looking back on that, this time around, this uh, hair journey transformation that I'm doing, I'm gonna do things a bit differently. I'm gonna take them very seriously, but I'm not gonna go cold turkey on anything, just like with my extensions, because I feel like that might've been the downfall of my last journey. Let me show you the results, okay? This is two years of growth, no heat, and really just taking care of my hair. I wasn't doing super tight hairstyles. I wasn't using heat. Like I was being a little bit more conscious of what I was doing with my hair, but that's about it. Like I wasn't oiling my scalp or taking any vitamins or doing anything like that. So those are things I'm gonna be implementing now that I feel like are gonna help me and like expedite the process a lot more. But since I didn't use heat on my hair and I was so used to doing it, I've always been super, always into like the glam. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I love getting ready. I love all that stuff. So the fact that I cut it out, I definitely felt like it took a part of me away because I'm so used to doing my hair and having it done. There's just something about putting heat on your hair that makes it look so good, okay? There's something about it. Looking back on it, there were definitely some times where I would go out and still not use heat on my hair because I was like, nope, I'm not doing it because I, I was like all in, all or nothing type of person this time around i'm definitely gonna allow myself to use heat i'm not gonna completely x the heat and tighter hairstyles out of my life because i still want to have some fun and variety so i know for a fact that i can do it like i know it's possible so that's why we're doing it again and i have high hopes in myself especially with finding 
Kaylee and all the tips and tricks that she does. And honestly, how often she uploads is so comforting that she still like practices the things that she's talking about. And I mean, her results are insane. So I'm like, if I can do it a few years ago and she's doing it currently, girl, we're set, we're good. I was sick and tired of not being able to pull my hair back like this. Like I love doing slick back hairstyles like this. And I know these are damaging. That's probably what you guys are gonna say. Okay, he isn't the only thing that can damage your hair, mechanical stuff. Like pulling your hair back in tight styles like this can definitely have an impact on your hair but it's actually not that tight. I don't even have an elastic in my hair. It's just secured with a little claw clip in the back of my head. So trying not to use hair ties at all, actually. If I do, it's a silk scrunchie and I will use that to secure the end of my braid. Even at night when I go to sleep now, I'm using, I'm putting my hair in a super loose bun, but securing it with a little claw clip too. So also going to try out these new Persona, what are these called? The Blush Multi Sticks. These are a really nice formula. This is in the shade Caramel, which is funny because it's not a caramel shade. I haven't tried the Road Pocket Blushes, but those interest me and intrigue me so much. But I feel like this looks like the shade Sleepy Girl. And if I were to get one of the Road Blushes, it would be Sleepy Girls. Let me actually warm it up with the tip of my finger first. Because I feel like products like this that are in a stick kind of need to be warmed up. Ooh, I always forget that these are pigmented. If you go in and just swipe products on your face, sometimes they will pick up the product that you already laid down underneath. And obviously that's not the goal. It's not what we want to do. To bring it back a little bit on the hair topic, I knew that the K-tips were damaging my hair. I mean, it, there's no doubt about it. Extensions will damage your hair. I know that there's gonna be people out there saying like, if you take care of them, go to the right person and this, that, da, da, da. Mm, okay. I think you have to have amazing, amazing hair jeans. My hair's not that bad. I'm not gonna lie. My hair's not that bad. It definitely feels a lot thinner. Extension withdrawal is 100% a thing. I knew I was gonna have it. That's why I split up taking my extensions out into three, it was like three or four days that I did that. So this color is super pretty, super pretty. I'm gonna put a bit more. I was mainly worried about it being broken. I would say I have a decent amount of hair, but each hair strand is fine. So I was worried that the extensions were just a bit too heavy this time. Now, the first time I got K-Tip extensions, I went to Polly, uh, Polly Hair Extensions, and she's actually in the OC, amazing. I didn't see that much breakage or like, I don't wanna say shedding, but I don't know. My hair, I feel like wasn't super compromised after going to Polly. Now this last time that I got my hair done, I love the girls who did my hair, but I just feel like maybe I had too much hair in my head this time and it definitely felt heavy for sure. Now maybe this was my fault for not explaining it to like at the salon. I just, I just figured she knew, but you should never do that. Never go to the hair salon and assume that they know what you're talking about but I pull my hair up so much. I love to do this sort of hairstyle, put my hair in ponytails, buns, or really just have my bangs out of my face. That's just the thing. I feel like most girls don't want their hair in their face. It's actually really annoying. And where she placed the K-tips, she it was super close to my hairline. It was to the point where I could not pull my hair back at all. It was like my hair just had to be straight down the middle and straight down like my face. Otherwise you would see it. I get K-tips because of their mobility. You could pull them up, down, side to side. You know, they're kind of just like a three, I don't want to say 360 rotation, because I feel like I'm I'm saying that wrong, but hopefully you guys get what, I, what I'm saying. Whereas if you have a weft, it can really go up and down. Like you can't really split your hair down the middle because you'll see that weft because it goes all the way around your head. Does that make sense? And then if you get tape ends, you guys know you can go only, only go up and down. If you pull them back, you'll see them in your hairlines. Long story short, she put them in and the reason that she put them so close is because I told her I wanted to be as blonde as possible. Now, when the first girl did my color correction, it's almost all this color besides my money piece. So it does appear very dark. So I understand why she did what she did. It's literally what I asked for, but all the blonde was placed so closely to my hairline. It was actually so irritating. It was a few days before I went to Hawaii that I got the extensions and they looked so good. But when I got there, I actually had to go buy plier, flat tip pliers and remove the ones in this section of my face right here. And it was so sad because that's what made me look so blonde, but it was just so not practical at all for my lifestyle. I feel like there's certain life styles that can 
that can have k-tips and extensions super close to their hairline but it's not mean it's because my my roots it, were this color but a lot of the extensions she put in were like bleach blonde so they were showing through and it just was not looking good it was not the vibe and i'm i'm that type of person like if it looks bad i'm gonna do something about it and the hair salon is so far away from me i know for a fact she would have done it for me but it's just so far away it did not make sense for me to go out there and i actually had to take a lot out around the nape of my neck as well because when i pulled my hair up again in a ponytail there's so many blonde pieces right there that you could just see them all i left them in for a good amount of time even you guys saw uh in like videos and pictures or whatnot but just recently i decided that oh my gosh i feel like i'm kind of having maybe hives on my face i don't know if you guys can see like this area right here looks a little red under the bronzer and it does feel a little itchy it feels like if i could just go in and scratch my forehead it would feel so good right now interesting i wonder i'm assuming it's from this the essence magic filter or see this is why you don't try a bunch of products at the same time because you never know it could also be from the Too Faced stick because it's scented I, i'm sitting here watching all kaylee's videos and i'm like oh her natural hair looks so amazing and it looks so healthy and there's something about just getting layers on your natural hair that looks so smooth and seamless and your hair just looks like clean and fresh i don't know how to describe it okay but i was like i need that i need that and i want to go back to my natural hair I, I was watching a lot of videos and somebody said something that stuck to me she said long hair doesn't equal beauty healthy hair equals beauty but i kind of had to change my perspective like no uh just because my hair is definitely shorter than it was before it doesn't mean that it's ugly i'm on the road to healthy hair i was really surprised how healthy my hair looks it's really just the top layer that has a lot of damage but i've had that damage since the beginning of last year actually and that's from the revlon blow dry brush because i wasn't waiting for my hair to dry i was just going straight in with that brush and it's very hot and you have to use tension for it to work and it just created so much breakage on the top of my head so that's growing out but it does kind of just look like a short layer now <laughs> If you guys have been nervous or hesitant to start your natural hair journey for whatever reason, let's do it together because I feel like the sooner you start, obviously the sooner you start, you guys, the sooner you're going to see results. Now that's kind of what made me make my decision that I knew I wanted to do it now. It kind of sucks because it's summer and you know, my man was telling me like, you just paid so much money for these extensions and you're going to take them out. And I said, yeah. And he, I was sitting in the room watching 90 Day Fiance taking my extensions out and he walked in like, oh my God, what are you doing? It's so fun to change your look too. I haven't had shorter hair in a long time. Although I'm looking back on videos and pictures when I had my red hair, like the last, um, probably the last six months before I decided to get extensions, my hair was actually pretty broken and pretty short. And I don't think I was realizing, I didn't really realize how broken it was until I got extensions because all that length that I had lost was from breakage. It was from being careless when I brushed it and, you know, not using heat protectant, going to sleep with it wet. I feel like I just didn't realize at the time because I was working so much. I was actually, I worked two jobs and I was still making TikTok content. All the videos that were going crazy for me were the ones that I was using the Revlon blow dry brush on which is so annoying because I didn't know it was breaking my hair either, okay? I didn't know it was too late. And I feel like that happens with a lot of us when we start going on our healthy hair journey. We don't realize how much breakage we have until we're ready to start the journey. And it almost feels like you're never gonna get to where you wanna be in your hair journey, starting from such like, I don't wanna say a low point, because it's not a low point, but it's kind of a low point for my hair. You know what I mean? I've already started, I haven't used heat on my hair besides my bangs like i mentioned i'm gonna do everything in moderation i'm not just gonna cold turkey when i completely cut out heat i was fully in my natural hair my natural hair um color everything and that's when i decided to go red and pink so it was like i went from zero to 100 i went from completely using nothing to going to two crazy fashion colors at once and i believe that's because i limited myself so much like i didn't give myself any leeway at all so i have been doing a lot of scalp massages and hair oil and scalp oiling this is something that i didn't do the first round my first hair journey i definitely did not focus on my scalp at all i feel like during that time like 2018 19 2020 like i don't know there just wasn't like a lot of information on scalp oiling 
at least to my knowledge, I didn't come across it. And now that it's so widely talked about and people have seen so many results, especially Kaylee, okay? That's the main person I'm using for reference. I've been massaging my scalp for five minutes. I set a timer. I fully do. I do not skip out on it. My scalp, I'm trying to aim for two times a week, but I've only done once a week. I'm actually going to force myself to do two times a week because I think really taking care of your scalp is super important. I have so many different shampoos and conditioners that I try out, but there's actually another YouTuber that I watch and her name is Abby Young, I believe. She is like a certified trichologist. One of her favorite shampoos is Amika The Cure and I love the Amika Soul Food Mask. So I'm actually gonna go out and buy that once I finish my little K18 shampoo and conditioners that's what i'm using up right now i really want to focus i feel like i just have breakage from the extensions and from the excessive heat that i was using on my hair i was using heat almost not not kidding you guys almost every day with the extensions because if you guys know you know if you have extensions you kind of have to blend your natural hair with the extensions for it to look right and i curled my hair almost every single day maybe the whole time i had extensions this last round I didn't use heat on my hair like maybe maybe four times but no there's definitely just some damage so we kind of need to curate our shampoo and conditioners to damage and then also every night i'm going to bed with a scalp serum i have it right here on my vanity to remind myself i use i've been using the brio geo destined for density you guys can see how much of it i've used a hair wash day i would use a scalp massager to get the blood circulating on my scalp and then i'll apply this i like to use my fingers on a day that's not hair wash day because i feel like that just adds excess oil on your scalp that you don't need and then if it is a hair wash day i'll oil my hair with rosemary oil and i saw this all over tiktok and also my best friend robbie loves this stuff and her hair is insane about it it's the color wow dream cocktail kale infused leave-in strengthening treatment so this is gonna be my leave-in that i'm using after the showers and whatnot lip liner i use the she glam neutral lip liner you guys know i'm obsessed with this thank you still to that girl who recommended this to me because because it's so good it's that that good and then i went in with an og this is morphe sweet tea we have the 90s brown and then the bombshell lip duo i want to see what the bombshell shade looks like okay so we have two lip products these are full size why do i think these were mini i mean i already have a lip liner on so oh that's too dark yeah we will not be using that i will be giving that away this is from ulta this is the elf plumping lip gloss in the shade pink paloma so this is my second one i got because the first one I didn't know if it was open or not in the little perforated line. As I was talking the little perforated line, I didn't see if it was already open or not. And I feel like with Ulta, you guys cannot really trust the drugstore section. I feel like a lot of people just take out the products and use it. Whether they're swatching it on their hand or on their lips, that's not sanitary. This is a plumbing lip gloss. I can definitely feel the tingy, tingling, but it's not bad. Like it's, it's very, very doable. And can you guys see how glossy this looks? This is definitely a thicker gloss. If you guys have ever tried the MAC lip glasses, those are very thick glosses. You definitely do have to apply like a few layers for it to actually work, but that's how the gloss is intended to wear. There are some glosses that you don't have to apply so much product. For example, the Makeup by Mario Lip Pumping Serum. I love that. I always have it in my purse. I use it if I'm wearing makeup or if I'm not it's so good and that you don't have to apply a lot of it and it gets extremely glossy like this let's take kylie pink power and put it closer to our eye i just got two other things that i didn't show you if you guys self tan i highly recommend that you guys get one of these and also a exfoliating mitt but not the ones from eco tools like not the ones from ulta i'll leave link down below the one that i'm talking about and it's insane like it takes off dead skin that you didn't even know you had. It's crazy. This is in the scent vanilla. I have this. Oh my God. It smells expensive. But this one is gorgeous. It smells rich and luxe. I have this in the shape oil, which is also amazing. And the lotion too. I love it. Somebody recommended this. Who was it? I saw somebody use this on TikTok. I think it was Sally's. And she said that her man uses it in the shower. Like it's that good that her man takes it from her. And I was like, ooh that's how you know it's bomb if the men know it smells good another thing this got me 
I was headed in the checkout and you know, they have like the little bins. This was in there. I've always loved this. I've used this in a lot of my blowout videos. This is color wow dream coat. So basically this is a heat protectant, but it's also, I believe like anti frizz. So if you guys have a problem with your hair frizzing up or your hair staying in a blowout, please try this out. This mini one is $12. It's also really good for travel. That's why I like to get it so I can take it with me when I travel places. But if you, sp you have to spray a decent amount on your hair too. So make sure you section out your hair and really coat, coat. I think that's why it's called dream coat. Your hair in this, blow your hair out, whether that be with a curling iron and rollers, a blow dry brush, the Dyson, whatever it is, I promise your hair will stay at least a day longer than it normally does. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.